Hi everyone, Adam at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Koenig XB16 snow tire chains on our 2019 Toyota Highlander. So these chains are going to be a dual sided D-link. They are going to be made of a high quality manganese nickel alloy steel. We have a diamond pattern and then we also have these cross chains and that's going to just be great for turning and obviously starting and stopping. So these are going to be a little bit smoother of a ride when we compare them to some of the V-bar type chains. They're a lot more aggressive and also it's going to be a lot smoother than some of the ladder pattern styles as well. We just have a lot more chain surface area on our tires and these cross chains are going to make it a little bit smoother too. One other thing, just the fact that these are all not necessarily the most aggressive chain, but they're all universal. So they all kind of look the same. They will wear down relatively evenly. Another thing that I always like in tire chains is just the fact that we have coatings on all the chains around our rim, just in case they do make contact with it for some reason. We just don't want our rims to get any scuff marks where we don't need them. Another thing that I like about it is just the fact that we have a built-in tensioner. Uh, it doesn't take too long to do it and it's just connected because I know I always lose things and just having something that's connected to it that I need for my chains is always a plus for me. Other than that, the case that they come in is actually one of the better cases that I like. There's the canvas bags which they kind of rip over time and there's other ones that have maybe some zippers Sometimes those aren't necessarily the best for maybe the colder weather. Maybe there's ice in it and sometimes just zippers break. Other than that, this one doesn't have anything like that. You just gotta pop open these tabs. It opens up, they store really nicely in there. There's plenty of room for them so you're not really shoving it into a bag like some of the other ones that I've worked with. And we do have a kneeling pad too. Obviously, snow tire chains means there's probably snow on the ground. And you see me installing these with my knees on the ground. So if you don't want soggy kneecaps, we got a pad for you as well. They do come in a pair of two. So for this specific vehicle, we just needed one pair of them to get our tires all chained up. But for some of your all wheel drive and four wheel drive applications, just grab two of the same part number and you should be able to do that on all four of your tires. It's super simple. So let's just go ahead and show you guys how. So the first thing that we wanna do is just lay out our chains, make sure there's no kinks in our links, and just make sure there's no tangles. And once we get all that sorted out, you can just take one end of our chain and send it behind our tire. Then we can take both of our chains, just reach in our wheel well and make this connection, just like that. While we're back here, might as well start draping all these chains over the tire, just like that. All right, and then we can take our red hook here and just connect it to our red link, just like that. We're making little adjustments as we're going. Now, at the bottom, what we wanna do is we're gonna have a rubber tensioner it's actually kind of stuck back here. Let me grab it. It's actually on this side. All right, there she is. This is another reason why we do recommend that you guys do this in your garage at first, just so when you guys get into that situation, you don't have to figure all this out for the first time. All right, back to it. So we have our little section here and our rubber tensioner. We're gonna i just open this gate, put it in there like so. We can go ahead and give it a good tug. Get all that slack out as much as we can. And then what we can do now is take these little hooks and get our chains placed in there like so. And then we can go ahead and kind of go kind of across where we're at and then connect this thing. We want to make sure that the hook is facing out too, just to prevent any unnecessary wear to our rims or our tires. But once we do that, we do recommend that you guys give it a good tug 
make sure it's nice and tight and we do also recommend just rolling over them a couple times coming back out and checking making sure everything's nice and tight and if it is we're pretty much ready to hit the road well everyone that just about does it for a look at the koenig xb16 snow tire chains on our 2019 toyota highlander